If you are looking for a great cardio and strength workout, you came to the right place. So let's get on that bike, let's start warming up, and I'll explain what I have in store for you today. First thing I need you to do, take those shoulders down away from the ears. Next thing, take that gear, give me a little bit of resistance. If you think of our resistance scale as a scale of one to 10, with one being a flat road and zero resistance, and 10 being your Mount Everest, the highest amount of resistance, right now, I want you about a four or five even, but more towards a four for that warm up. Now, what are we gonna do today? Let me tell you, this is one of my favorite workouts. We have a nice interval class planned for you. We'll be on the bike for a couple songs, then we'll head off the bike, do some strength workouts, get back on the bike for a couple songs, and again get off to do strength. So we'll be going back and forth interval style. We're gonna work from the head to the toes, the heart, and everything in between. So I hope you love this class as much as I love teaching it. All right, now that you know what's in store, let's focus. I want you to start picking up that pace a little bit. Woo! Take a quick scan of that body. Do you have any aches, pains, or injuries that you need to adjust for today? If so, do what you gotta do. Don't forget to start those watches so that you can get credit for this workout. Perfect. Give me a touch more gear. We're getting ready to take it out of the saddle. We're warming up, working on our form, and getting ready. Take it out right here. Perfect. When you're out of the saddle, your hips are back. You should be able to feel that saddle behind you. Weight is in your hips. So avoid leaning on that handlebar, okay? Perfect. A little more like this. Give me eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, down. Perfect. Whew. It's gonna be a great workout, I promise. Remember to stay hydrated. Drink water whenever you need it. Perfect. Whew. I love it. Thank you for pressing play. Thank you for being here with me. I'm gonna make it with you through this workout. So you stay with me. Right here, gear it up. I want you at a nice pace right here. Maybe about 85, 90. All right, get that resistance to a seven on that scale. Between a six and a seven. Yes, in just a few seconds. I'm gonna tell you to hold the resistance but you're gonna pick up the pace. Eight fast, eight slower, eight fast, eight slower. You'll get it. I promise it's easy. Just listen for my cues. Ready, faster, right now. Maybe you're going 95, 100. Try to keep it below 100 though. Four. Three, two, back it off, first pace. You got it. Four, three, two, faster here, go. Four, three, two, back it off. Maybe about 10 RPMs, but not for long, faster. You can't get comfy at that slow pace, no siree. Back it off. We're still there. Pick up that pace. Four, three, two, back it off. You're doing it. Stay with me. Pick up your pace. Woo! Bring it back and hold right here. Hold right here. 
right here. You should be starting to breathe harder. Maybe starting to sweat like I am. Get ready. That same move is coming up. Here we go. Faster. Back it off by 10. You gotta overcome from that slow to fast pace. Faster now. Four, three, two, back it off. Four, three, two, faster. Come on. Four, three, two, back it off. Perfect. Gear it down. You made it through your first cycling segment. Let's take 30 seconds here to let that heart rate come down. Get that breath under control. Then we're gonna hit the weights. Let's see, we've got squats ahead. So we'll get more into that lower body as well as chest so that we can work that upper body. Grab a water if you need it. And right now, let's head on over. Hopefully you are all warmed up after that first segment of cycling, but now it's time to move on to strength. So I want you to grab your heavy weights. As we get ready for lower body, we're gonna be working on our squats. So those weights can be up on your shoulders or down by your side, wherever you feel most comfortable. We're working on time under tension today. So we're gonna start out by squatting super slow. Four counts down, four counts up right here. Take it down, two, three, four and up two three four again we're gonna make a change on our next one we're gonna come down quick and take it up slow right here down three two one you got it again perfect now while we're under that tension i want you to think about engaging those muscles and making them work press up through the heels Keep that chest lifted. Knees are behind the toes. Quick. Three, two, one. Again. We've got a few more of these. Then we're gonna change. Squeeze that backside. Come on. You've got it. Lower. One more like this. Now take it right in the middle and pulse it for seven. Three, two, take it up, do it again for seven. Stay right in that working range of motion. Three, two, one, again. Yes. Breathe. Take it up one more time. Three, two, one. More, because I need to do seven. Take it up nice and slow, lift one heel. Nice and slow, we're back to that four by four. We've got one heel lifted, totally up to you. You don't like that heel lifted? Go ahead and put it back down on the floor with both heels down, keep going, breathe in. Are those legs talking to you yet? I know mine are. One more like this. All right, switch heels, same thing, nice and slow. Don't you cheat. Go all the way down and all the way up. Now your range of motion depends on your body. If you can't get as low as me, totally fine. Maybe you can go lower, take it down. Two, three, four, up. One more time. Then we're gonna go back to that quick and slow. Right here, both heels down on the ground, quick and slow. Take it down, up, you got it. Breathe in, breathe out, lower and lift, nice and slow. Squeeze as you come up, come on, yes. You're almost there, you can do this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Give me one more. Woo. All right. 
We're done with this part, but now we're headed to the floor to work on our chests. So come on down, grab medium or heavy weights, whatever's most comfortable for you. We're gonna be doing some chest presses and some chest flies. Start down in that press position, time under tension. We're starting with four by fours. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Take it up. Three, four, down. Again, nice and slow. Breathe out as you go up. Breathe in as you come down. Try not to let those upper arms rest on the floor. All right, little change coming up. Slow singles right here. Take it up. Down. Breathe out and in. Take it up. Down. You've got it. Nice and slow, slow, slow. Now listen up, we're gonna do one arm at a time, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Yes, just like that. Press, and lower. A little more, a little more, let's go, four. Take a little rest because next we're moving to fly. Arms up, palms face each other. Slight bend in those elbows, open it nice and slow. And close, time under tension. Open. Close. See, makes it harder when you go a little bit slower, doesn't it? One more like this, then we're switching to those slow singles. Take it open and close. Slow singles right here. Open, close. Breathe in, breathe out. We've got it. Keep going just like that. Almost there. Woo, I'm feeling it. Last one, open slow. Take it four, three, two, one. Close. Got it, just like that. Keep it right there. Are you breathing? Avoid holding your breath. Don't let those upper arms rest on the floor either. Last one like this. There's gonna be a little pause. Flip the hands, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Finish it strong. You got it. Breathe. Almost there. Down, down, up, up. You've got two more. All right, last one right here. Now listen up. Hold it up. Just an isometric hold right here till that music stops. Isometric hold. Woo! All right, go ahead and put those weights down and I'll meet you back at the bike. All right, we're back on that bike, so let's get started right away. We're warmed up, so we don't need to go through that again. Let's just get moving. Take that gear, turn it to that six on that resistance level. We've got some speed increases on this one. We're gonna be getting up to 110 RPMs. If you can, listen to my cues, watch my legs if you need help with that pace. Gear it up right here. Pick up that pace. Now, as we get faster, I need you to make sure you check in with that gear. If you need to add more so you can control the pedals, do 
it. All right? Don't wait for me to cue it. If you find your legs flying around too fast, you know what to do. Geared up, my favorite saying. Right here, geared up a smidge. Let's pick up that pace. About 100 if you can. Breathe. I know we just worked those legs, but let's continue doing so. Faster here. Come on. You got this. Hold it. Woo. You're at 110, but no faster. Back it off. You can take a little gear off if you need to, but don't you gear it down all the way. We got that again. See, we're back on the bike. It's like we never left. If you geared it down, gear it up. Start picking up that pace. Maybe get into 90 if you can. Match my legs if you need to. Getting ready to pick it up faster. Give me 100 right here. Go faster. Oh, yes, we are. Go. 110 if you can. Between 100 and 110, push. did it. All right. But we still have another song. What I want you to think on this one is you're at a stadium and you see some bleachers and you're going to run them up. Yes, you are. I want you to gear it up so your feet get to that pace. You'll hear it. One, two. One, two. Use that gear, gear it up. Take it out, let's run. One, two, yes. Come on. You wanna keep this pace. This is a good song. Feel the beat. Let's do it. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's about 63, 65 RPMs. If you're going faster, gear it up. Come on. Use the strength of your legs. Pull those pedals up. Push them down. Are you ready? Stay up. Gear it up. Come on. Keep that pace. Take it down. You can gear it down a little. But you know what? We're only halfway up those bleachers. We still have the other half to do. So I'm gonna need you to dig in. Gear it up right here. In fact, I'm gonna challenge you. Make it a little heavier gear than you had for the first set of bleachers. Your seats are in the nosebleeds. Gear it up, but I promise we're gonna make it there together in just a few seconds. We're gonna take it out and run it until the end. You got it? Come on. Feel the beat. Gear it up. Out in 
incline. Climb those bleachers. One, two, one, two. If you're going too slow, either pick up the pace or my permission to gear down a smidge. If you're too fast, gear it up. Come on. If you can, gear it up, everybody. Keep your pace. One, two. One, two, one, two. Are you feeling those legs? Sure you are, especially after all those squats. Let's go. Make it till the end. Breathe. Take it down. You did it. And guess what? You get to get off that bike in 30 seconds. Because we're gonna let that heart rate come down. We're gonna catch our breath. Maybe take a quick sip of water. And then you know where we're headed. Over to the weights. All right, right now, go ahead and stop those bikes and Head on over. I'll see you there. All right, it's back to the weights after that last cycle segment. So grab your heavy weights. We're going to start with some lower body and upper back, and eventually we'll move to the shoulders. So go ahead and grab those weights. We're gonna be doing some double arm rows as well as some kickstand leg back, kickstand deadlifts. All right, so let's go ahead and get started first. Arms down, facing each other, hinge at the hips. We're gonna bring those elbows behind us. So take it up a little slow and down a little slow. There you go. Breathe in and out. Keep going right here. Bring it up and down. You got it. All right, it might start a little slow, but it's gonna get serious. Here we go, take it up. Two more, then we're gonna change to that kickstand deadlift. Right here, palms face you, down and up, down. We're gonna go back to those double arm rows. Feet about hip width apart. Knees slightly bent. Hinge at the hips. Arms down, palms facing each other. Row it back right here. Take it up and down. Are you squeezing those shoulder blades around the spine? Come on. Breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down. Give me three. Two. Last one. Stand up. Kick stand the leg back. Single leg deadlifts right here. Lower. Lift. Breathe in. Breathe out. You got it. Keep it up. Four. Three. Shoulders down and away from those ears. Last one, feet together, switch legs, other side, lower, lift. We're almost there. You can do it, just give me four more. Four, three, last two. We're 
moving on to shoulders, so we only need one dumbbell for this one. So go ahead and place one down and out of the way. How you feeling? I can feel it. All right, we're gonna be doing some front presses. We're gonna be doing some halos. We're gonna be doing some front raises. We're gonna have fun with this song. So let's get ready. Bring that weight up, holding both ends right here. I want those knees slightly bent, pelvis tilted under, shoulders down away from the arms. Lift it up right here, take it up. And down. Breathe out. And in. Nice straight overhead. You got it. Again, take it up. And down one more. Hold it right here. Let's halo. Around. Around. Yes. I love this one. Four. Got it. Keep those elbows close. All right. Switch ways. You got eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Last two. Bring those weights down and lower up. Raise them up. Down. Take it up. And down. We're going to stop at shoulder height. Slow and controlled. Don't rush it. And don't let that weight drop down to your legs, okay? You control it. How you doing? Can you feel those shoulders? Last one like this. Bring it up, press it overhead, take it up. Back to those front raises, front presses. Two more. Last one. Give me singles right here, speed it up so it's up. Down, up, down. Breathe out, breathe in. Come on. Four, halos are coming up, my favorite. Last one, halos, take it around, around, around. Four more, four, three, two, other way, let's go. You got it. Almost there. Guess what? You get a bonus set. Other way. Give me four. Other way. Just four. Two. And one. We did it. Go ahead and put this weight down. And I will meet you back at the bike. Here we are. We're back. This is my serious song. You'll hear that in a minute. It's also my hill climb and it's steep. So I want you to start gearing it up. I mean, gear it up. I mean, get to that eight, get to that nine. Legs are going about 60, 65. Gear it up, take it out right here. Climb. How is that gear? Do you need to gear it up again? Of course. Let's go. Super serious. Focus. Pull it out of you. Let's get this climb. Let's attack it and let's make it together. You're climbing. It may have even seemed a little bit harder because you don't have that body weight 
to help you. Stay above 60. Getting ready to take it out of the saddle again. If you have more left to give on the steepness, gear it up, take it out. I have a surprise coming up for you. In a few seconds, we're gonna take it down. And you're gonna gear it down till about seven on that level. But when we gear it down, what do we need to do? Pick up the pace. Are you ready? Take it down, gear it down, go. Fight it. This is with resistance. No gearing down all the way. Come on. Pull. Pull. About the fastest you can go is 80, 85. If you're higher, gear it up. Go, 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 go. down. If that didn't get you, I don't know what will. Maybe this will. In a flat row, you've got some combinations. In and out of the saddle coming. Don't like in and out of the saddle? Stay seated or stay standing. Come on. Gear it up. Get the road back underneath you if you gear it down. About a six. Mix it up. Take it out. Down. Up. Down. done. I know you were worried about that, but we're not. Woo! In and out of the saddle, coming back. Listen for my cues. Gear it up if you need and only if you need. Take it out. Back down. Take it up. Back down. Out. Down. Up. Down. Listen up. Take it out. Hold. Hold. Run it. Hips back, light grip, chest up. Woo! Take it down, gear it down. Guess what? We made it through, just like that. It's time to get off that bike for strength. Give ourselves a few seconds right here. Let that heart rate come down. If you're breathing hard like me, you're gonna need it. Cheers, grab some water. Wipe the sweat if you need it. And breathe. All right, it's time. Head on over. Maybe. 
get to our last strength segment. So exciting. So I want you to grab some weights. We're gonna be working our biceps and our triceps. So grab whatever weights that will be comfortable for you. Pick them up carefully. Feet hip width apart. Shoulders down away from the ears. Knees slightly bent. Arms are gonna start up. We're gonna take it down quick and up slow. So it's down. Three, two, one. We did this earlier in the workout, so you know the movement. Take it down. Three, two, one. You got it. Shoulders down away from the ears. All the way down, all the way up. Quick and slow. Quick. Make sure those elbows are not sticking in to the sides and no movement at the shoulders. Yes. Breathe. One more, then we're switching it. Switch the palms, hammer curls down. Single arm. Yes, lower and lift. Breathe in, breathe out. All the way down, all the way up. Come on, lower. Let the music help you. Be strong. Get ready, little change coming up, a little harder. Speed it up, double time. Take it down, down. Perfect. Four, three, two, last one. Weights down, shake it out a little bit. You get a little bit of a rest right here. But next time, we're gonna start at the bottom range of motion. Palms facing out, same movement. Up quick, down slow. Start it now. Up. Three, two, one. Avoid swinging, okay? And do not arch the back into it, okay? You don't want that. You missed one? Here we go. Take it up. Three, two, one. Yes. Breathe out. Keep it going nice and strong. Stay with me. I know you're getting tired, but we're gonna make it through this workout together. Yes, we are. Here we go. Switch it, hammer curls. Take it up, up. Breathe out, breathe in. Perfect. Nice and strong. Yes. Woo! Couple more like this, then guess what? Double time is coming back right here. Take it up. Come on. Strong. You can do this. We're almost there. Don't you give up on me. Woo! You did it, you made it. Good news is you can put one of your weights down as we're coming into our triceps. For our triceps, we're gonna be doing some extensions over the head and we'll also be doing some kickbacks. So you just need one weight. Hold it by the ends, take it up, bring it down behind your head. We're gonna extend it up, working the back of those arms. Knees slightly bent, pelvis tucked under. Let's go. Take it up right here. Take it up and down. Breathe out and in. Come on. This is our last strength song. So give me what you got left. Keep going just like that. Make sure there's no movement at the shoulders. The only joint that's working are the elbows to extend that arm up. Just a few more. Breathe out on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. Last one. Now reposition. Arm up. Kick it back. Kick. You got it. Now make sure you're not bringing that weight all the way to the shoulder. Give me three. Two. Last one, arm down, little rest. Pull it up, do it again. Seven, six, stop that weight.
weighed it 90. We already worked our biceps. We don't have to do it again. Two. Last one. Release. Take that weight. Bring it overhead. And we're going to take it down and up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Starting in the up position this time instead of the down. So a little different. Keep going. Yes. How are those knees? Are they slightly bent? How are those arms? Are they talking to you? Down and up. Keep going. We've got a couple extra this time. Stay strong. All right, you've got three more. Let's do it. Three. Two. Last one. Come on up. Reposition. Arm up. Kick it back. Kick. Keep that elbow up. Shoulder down away from the ears. Give me three. Two. Last one. Arm down. Little rest. Bring it back up. Finish it strong. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. You did it. We are done with our strength segment. So now, let's finish it out on the bike. Here we go. We meet again on the bike. Good news is, this is our last working song. I don't know about you, but my biceps and triceps are talking to me. But everybody, gear it up right here. We've got some pushes attached with some combinations. Just listen for my cues. This is the last song. You are gonna give me all you have left, okay? So let's make it worth it. Pick up that pace if you need to. Make sure you've got that gear. I need control, especially when we pick it up even faster. Remember, 110 is as fast as you're allowed to go, okay? Are you ready? The first push is coming up. I want you to focus. I want you to dig in deep, and I want you to push out all you have left. Shoulders down. Just up, listen for my cues. Gear it up. Pick up that pace, let's go. Listen. Take it out. Down. Those little combos just add a little extra oomph, don't they? We've got it coming again. Yes, you can. You have made it this far. You can make it less than two minutes. Now, you really backed off. Gear it up, pick up the pace. Shoulders down. Chest up. Breathe. Gear it up a touch. Maybe try to go a hair faster. You are preparing for that last push. The last little segment of combos. Come on. Focus. Come back here. Come back with me. Less than one minute, ladies and gentlemen. 
smear it up if you need it. Go! got up there. So take a few seconds. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let's bring that heart rate down. You made it. Full body workout. Cardio. Strength. Head to toe. We did it all. I am so proud of you for showing up for pressing play, maybe even trying something new. Let me know what you thought. I am so thankful for you, all my viewers out there, all my die-hard workouters, all my superstars. I'm thankful for you. I'm showing up for you, and I really appreciate you showing up for me. Make sure to leave a comment, let me know you are here. Hit subscribe on our channel get all of our latest workouts. How you doing? Breathing coming a little better? Good. I highly recommend you following up this workout with a nice little stretch session, either on your own or scroll through our videos. Find a good stretch just to work out and soothe out stretch out all those muscles that we just used today. So important to maintain that flexibility and that mobility. Well, I don't know what else you have planned for today, but you can mark, work out off your to-do list. You got it done. Again, thank you for showing up. Thank you for joining me here with Time to Train Fitness. And I look forward to seeing you right here on the screen again soon. Thanks again.